Andreas Giorgio now joined by Robin Roos from Team Sweden. You defeated John Byrne today from the Republic of Ireland and it was a fantastic fight. A fight which I said was my favourite of the day because you both came forward, you both put on an excellent contest. He was a little bit upset with the stoppage. It was a doctor stoppage in the third round. Um, did you feel that was a fair stoppage? Because he showed a lot of heart and he really did want to carry on. He could have carried on. It was just cut, cut over the eye. So, I mean, it was one minute left. I don't think it had, would have changed anything. Of course, there's always a chance, but I don't think it would have changed anything. So, I mean, of course, I could have gone, gone on for one minute more. I, I had my head kick set up, so I was waiting for, for that one. So Yeah, there's been a little bit of uh, hype surrounding you before this tournament. A few articles online, some social media posts. Uh, you have a 10-fight amateur winning record yeah. so far. It's a winning streak, should exactly. I say. Yeah. Yes. Now it's an 11. It's now streak. 11, of course. Cause you've I'm, just aiming, I'm aiming for that 14. So. Well, that's what you'll get if you get all the way to the final. Yeah. Was that the plan immediately? like? Some people come to IMAFs because they can't get fights in their country or they want more experience. Some, very honestly, come for gold. I assume that that's why I, you're I here. I mean, I compete to win. Of course, it's a learning experience and every day is a new fight. Like tomorrow I face, face Luxembourg. He was a good fighter, so I saw, I saw a little bit of his fight. And I mean, it's going to be a fight. Every fight is a fight. So I'm here to fight and of course I want to go. And have you fought outside of Sweden before? Yeah, many times. So uh, me and my coach usually we uh, we've been to. I was joking about it that we fought <laughs> Ireland because we we are also uh, fighting in uh, Great Britain so, so many times. And we were in Wales my last fight. So uh, we're all all over the world. Yeah, and how does that actually help you? Because there are some fighters who these international tournaments are their first time outside of their country. For you, you've got that experience. Does it give you a bit of a more of a comfort when you're fighting? I don't know. I think uh, for this fight, I was nervous so uh, usually I'm not nervous at all so uh, this this uh, this fight was special but it was also to kick off the, the tournament and uh, for me that I do a lot of weight cutting so tournament style is not the best for me but it's gonna be fun to do this one so, well that's quite an interesting point there because especially if you have to be on weight every time you fight do you feel that your decision to cut a little bit lower it is a bit of a dangerous one. I mean, it's a massive topic currently in MMA. Uh, I mean, of course it's it's dangerous because I think that's the most dangerous part of the sport. But also, if you're trying to go pro, you gotta learn how to do that shit. So yes, yesterday I cut four kilos. Today is three, and uh, it's, it's it's part of the game. You gotta be used to it. Is it also a learning experience as well, learning how your body adapts through things yeah, like that? Yeah, because uh, I'm planning on going pro next year, so you have to be ready. The people in 77, in welterweight in pro, they weigh about 90 kilos. I only walk around at 83, <laughs> and now I'm about 80, so yeah. And that, and that gold medal, you, you've already predicted that you'll, you'll get it, but a IMAF European gold medal, whether it's a, a world or a European medal, to get that at this international level for amateur MMA, what would that mean to you? It means a lot. It proves that you can uh, hang with the best from all around the world. So to step up to the pro professional league after, I mean, to get a gold first is best. It's the best.